Hello everyone. Today we're talking about weekly aquarium H2O testing and in particular what what we do. Um, this is what we do. Uh, we do four tests. Alkalinity, nitrite, calcium, and a phosphorus test which is basically our phosphate test. I'd really like to just kind of go through this and kind of show you how well it works for us because I think it works really well. Um, show you the different um, ways each test works here starting off with alkalinity the blue one and why we like these tests versus others uh, the first thing is with alkalinity obviously is you just fill your vial up with um, salt water from your tank put it in the machine uh, push a button and it calibrates to it then it's going to tell us here to add the sample and basically what that means is we're going to open it up we're going to pull out our aquarium um, vial of water and we're going to add one ml of reagent. Um, the little bottle of reagent uh, holds about 25 tests worth, so for us that's 25 weeks. So basically we go through two bottles a year. And then uh, once you put your reagent in your little sample, you're going to just mix it up a couple times, put it back in the device, and it's going to give us our you know calcium carbonate value. To which we'll take that times uh, 0 0.056, and it'll give us our DKH. Very simple test takes about two minutes here to run. All these tests are simple. I can do all of this in about 10 minutes once a week. I highly recommend it. The reason I like these testers versus the other companies is I don't have to compare a color to a color chart to try and figure out what it is. I like the digital readout. That doesn't mean these are air free. Yes, they do have airs. They can have issues depending upon how you use them. Um, in particular, like we're using this nitrite one, which I really like. It's the marine ultra low range. Again, you put your aquarium sample in it and calibrate it. Um, this one doesn't have a liquid reagent that you add to your aquarium sample. It has a powder version. And obviously, you have to try to make sure you get as much of that powder in there as you can. And that powder will leave a residue when you're done with the test. So this is one of these tests where it becomes very important afterwards to rinse your vial out with RODR, RODI water and make sure your vials are nice and clean and air dry before you run your next test. Uh, we see a lot of errors because of that. Dirty vials um, will um, give you false results because most of these little HANA checkers all run by photocells. So again, we're going to put the reagent now into the uh, vial of our salt water. And we're going to put the cap on it. And as the directions say, we're going to shake this one pretty vigorously. Once we put it back into the machine, it's going to take about six minutes to run. So as you saw before, the alkalinity test, probably done in two minutes, the nitrite ultra low range test is going to take probably about seven, eight minutes by the time it's done. And of course, it's going to give us a parts per billion, which I really like. It goes down to a very low level, much lower than a lot of the API kits and so forth on the market. Again, those kits work fine, folks. I just, I like it with, with my tanks and my friends' tanks and people who we work with. I like it when they can give me an actual number on a machine and we don't have to sit there on the phone and wonder what it was. This red one is the calcium one. This is probably the touchiest one of the HANA checkers that we've worked with. It's, it's certainly a good test, but this one you start out with RODI water and you put the reagent into the RODI water. If you really want this test to work correctly, you're going to need RODI water for this test. So it calibrates on the reagent and the RODI water. Once it's done calibrating, we're going to put a powder reagent into it and one-tenth of an ml of salt water in it from our tank. We're going to mix that all up and then that's what's going to read the calcium off of. Because this particular test has more steps to it, there's obviously a better chance of errors uh, when doing a calcium level with a HANA checker. But again, I like the fact that it gives us a number and yes, it can be off by a certain percentage. If you want to know the percentages these can be off, you're certainly welcome to um, uh, Facebook us or comment on this video, but these little yellow cards here in back, if you turn them around, they're the directions on one side. On the other side, they tell you all about the machine and its um, accuracy ratings, which are actually very, very good overall. So again, you put the reagent in it here, and then we're going to take this and, again, vigorously shake this one up, just like the nitrite one we did. And once we get it all shook up, we're going to stick it in the machine. And, and this one reads fairly fast again. This one's like the alkalinity blue one there we did earlier. It's just going to read pretty quick. And that's nice. I'm shooting for about 450 on the uh, calcium test. 
So we'll see where this is at here in a, in a minute. Now remember, while this is occurring, that nitrite one is still running over there. I know it's a little hard to see on the camera screen, but it's been counting down from six minutes. So again, we're probably only a couple minutes to do a calcium test here. Once you push the button, and just wait here, um, probably 15 seconds, and it'll give us a value. See here, it's uh, 444, so really right where I want to be. Again, just there at 132. Um, that one is still counting down, our nitrite one. So we'll go on to the last test that we do on a weekly basis, which is our ultra-low marine phosphorus one, this other green one. I particularly like the phosphorus one because it goes down again to parts per billion, and I like that it uh, can really pick up at a low level. Remember, uh, a phosphate molecule is made up of one phosphorus and normally three oxygen to four oxygen, depending upon its negativity. So um, uh, phosphorus is the uh, element which is in phosphate. But it's an easy test. Again, take an aquarium sample, uh, put it in the test, calibrate it. Uh, once it's done calibrating, you take out the aquarium sample. We'll rip open the reagent package and dump the reagent into it. We're going to mix it up. Uh, for maybe a minute or so until it's good and mixed up and we're going to stick that back into the machine and it has about a three minute countdown on this one so this one take about three minutes to, to do not as long as the nitrate one but not as fast as the calcium and alkalinity all in all I can get all four tests done in about 10 minutes on my tank with just some simple RODI water and the um, tank water so it works good each of these tests um, you can buy reagents for. Again, they come in about 25 packs, both dry and liquid. So every time you buy a, a refill, you get about 25 tests. Since we do this once a week, whoop, the nitrate one here is done. Oh, it's five. That's five parts per billion now. So um, if you put that in millions, like a lot of tests are, that'd be point, uh, the point zero zero five parts per million. So that, that's pretty low nitrate, so that, that's a good value for us. That's pretty consistent for this particular 55-gallon. So again, 132 on the alkalinity, which is 7.39. Uh, 5 parts per billion on the nitrates, and the calcium was 444. And again, we're going to get the phosphorus value here too. And remember, this is the phosphorus marine ultra-low HANA checker, so it's going to give it to us again in parts per billion. Again, I can extrapolate the parts per million by just moving the decimal point. I like these tests, folks. They're not the only ones on the market. Um, there's a whole bunch of good tests out there. You're certainly welcome to buy whichever ones you like. But I really do think it's an advantage to test your tank weekly, at least for alkalinity and calcium, nitrate, and phosphate of some form. In this case, we're using phosphorus. Um, this one here is counting down. I skip ahead here a little bit, but uh, I'd recommend all four of these for typical beginner marine tank and even for a more advanced one now granted we also check iodine we check magnesium we check a few other things but we only do those on a monthly basis some of those are HANA checkers I'm not showing them in the video see the result here is 13 parts per billion so these are all four of my testers folks this is what we do at reef DVMs once a week it takes about 10 minutes of our time I appreciate you watching the video if you have any questions feel free to comment Please subscribe to our channel. It's what helps us keep putting out educational videos like this. And at this point, again, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. We'd appreciate it. Thank you, folks.